Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Gaming with MKOWASH. I'm MKOWASH, and today we're playing Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. And this is going to be a limited basic run, guys. So just a reminder what that means. I'm going to limit my Pokemon party to four Pokemon, and only able to use basic Pokemon. In the last episode, we started to explore Cerulean City, battled our rival, took on the Nugget Bridge, and visited Pokemaniac Bill. This is going to be a great episode, guys. Today, in this episode, we're going to battle Misty, continue exploring Cerulean City, and make our way to Vermilion City. So let's get started, guys. We're going to start off with a coach trainer today. They're going to have Machop, and we're going to use Sparks. I mean, it's not necessarily the best matchup for us. Ooh, and I'm kind of weak right now. We're going to, we're going to chance it. Use double kick and hopefully that takes. Oh, it's not gonna quite take it out. If it uses, yeah, it's gonna use seismic toss. It's high enough level that it's gonna faint Pikachu. And it did. So we're gonna go ahead and use our flying Pokemon Pidgey for this. Should be super effective and it should be enough to take out this Machop. We have wing attack now. It should help us out quite a bit. Going to use Wing Attack. Wing Attack wasn't enough to take out Machop in one shot. Seismic Toss isn't going to be enough to take out us in one shot. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and finish it up with a Wing Attack. I wonder if we're going to get the TM for Seismic Toss since they're using it a ton here. 81 experience points for Pidgey. And we defeated the coach trainer. Got a bunch of Poké Dollars there. Whew, I haven't had fun like that in a while. Got TM15 Seismic Toss. That's going to be useful down the road. I'm not sure. We don't really have any fighting Pokémon to really use it on. But we might down the road. Found a Lure. I haven't used much of those in this walkthrough. Or any, rather. May uh, see if it makes a difference later down the road. I'm sure that it does. We're going to return to Cerulean City. And I noticed watching back in my last episode, I did not uh, talk to anybody in the Pokemon Center. So we're going to go ahead and do that when we return to the Pokemon Center. Looks like Bulbasaur found something in the plants. Or maybe just admiring the plants. Found something in the plant. Another raspberry. It's good to find those since we use those so often. Didn't find anything in those bushes. All right, give the fast way around. Made it back to the Pokemon Center. Had a little trouble getting through the door there. I'm going to heal our Pokemon since Pikachu is fainted. Don't want Pikachu to be painted any longer. Still love that animation every time I do it. Pokemon should be all better now. Talk to this guy. He has a whip. Pretty sure Pokemon can learn a marvelous move. Okay, what kind of zippy zap? I have no idea what that move is. Zippy zap. Well, I have, oh, well, what is it? User attacks the burst of electricity at high speed, always goes first and resulting in a critical hit. That's not bad. Um, if it always goes first, let's go ahead and take out our quick attack then. This one's gonna be slightly more powerful and it's gonna have a critical hit every time and is still guaranteed to go first. So it seems like a pretty good move, pretty good upgrade to quick attack. Two type of attacking moves. Yep. Sounds good. Yeah, we already knew that. Oh, that Bill. Heard to do anything to get his hands on a rare Pokemon. Anything at all. Have you heard about Bill? I was just there. Wouldn't we, with a collection like his, you wouldn't want to brag a little bit. I think people are jealous. Do you want to trade? Your Rattata for my Rattata. What is the difference? Oh, it looks like an Alolan Rattata. All right. 
Yeah, I'd do that. Plus, it's a higher level. It's not going to be the same level as the one we're offering to her. So I'd be more than happy to do that trade. The low moon rare titles are also, I think, a dark type as well. In addition to a normal type. Plus, I think it, they look a lot better than the Cantonian Ratatatas. That is pretty cool. It's going to be part, yep, dark normal. I still don't think we're going to use it in our walkthrough. But it's cool that we got an Alolan Ratatata in this game. It's cool that they put that in this game. I wonder if you can get additional Alolan Pokemon down the road. Anything he gets hands on a rare Pokemon. Already talked to that guy. We continue on. Nice little fountain in the middle there. We haven't done the gym yet. I think the gym's gonna be maybe the next thing that we do. All of our Pokemon are healed up nicely. Take on Misty and her water type Pokemon. I think there's a couple trainers in here. Champ in the making. You'll need a Pokemon at least level 15 if you want to take on the gym. I like these prerequisites. All my Pokemon are level 15. So I'll show them the first one I click on here, which is Pikachu. He's going to let us into the gym. Oh, that's cool that they do some sort of flip. In the original games, they were just in the water. Beauty Lily. She's going to have one Pokemon. It's going to be a Goldeen. We're going to try out our new move, I believe. <clears throat> Goldeen's level 16. So we're going to match that with Sparks. But we're going to do Zippy Zap. It's going to be first. And a critical hit. It's going to be super effective. That's going to be it, guys. Goldine is going to be down 102 experience points. Beat Beauty Lily, 320 Poké Dollars. And on to the next trainer. If you noticed beforehand, I could have skipped this trainer by just going around. I don't think that's super beneficial, so we're just going to battle everybody here. Especially with our new Zippy Zap move. Beauty Violet's going to send out a Shelter. It's going to be your only Pokemon. Shelter's going to be level 16. So we're just going to go ahead and use Zippy Zap again. Seems like a pretty solid move. It's going to be more powerful than Thundershock. And it goes first, and it gets critical hit every time. It is a clearly Pikachu's best move right now. Pidgey grew to level 16. And beat Beauty Violet. Another 320 Poké Dollars in the bag. I'm going to move on to the next trainer. See, you can go around this trainer, but I think I'd just rather battle her. None of these battles have been super long. <laughs> Deserving of a gold medal. It was a pretty good flip. I don't know if it was a gold medal flip, but Beauty Daisy, another one Pokémon. She's going to send out Seal, another Water-type Pokémon. I'm going to send out Pikachu. Seal's going to be level 16 again. We're going to go ahead and use Zippy Zap. Nice little electrical charge here right at Seal. Super effective. Another critical hit. 103 experience points. And beat Beauty Daisy. So I think Misty's the only one left in this gym. Let's go ahead and talk to her and see what she has to say. New face, what is your policy on Pokemon? Your approach, policy on battle, all offensive with water type Pokemon. <laughs> My sweet Pokemon are ready, are you? I am totally ready for this battle. Got a new move called Zippy Zap and Pikachu's gonna bring it down. First Pokemon's gonna be a Psyduck. Send out Pikachu here. 
All right, I think it's gonna be super quick. We're gonna do Zippy Zap. I'll be surprised if this, if this doesn't take the side deck down. And it does in a quick fashion. Side deck is down. I think we're gonna have a Starmie here coming up. I'll be surprised if it wasn't Starmie. It is Starmie. We're gonna keep Pikachu out. Still full health. All these different battles. Starmie's level 19. I'm gonna use Zippy Zap. Not quite enough to do it in one shot. I mean, Starmie definitely can take the punishment. Starmie's gonna hit us with the Scald. Not enough to take us out, and we're gonna Zippy Zap for the gym here. That's gonna be Misty down. Three hundred and forty-six experience points. Nidoran grew to level 16 and Bulbasaur grew to level 17. Beat Gym Leader Misty. Now, a couple of my Pokemon are going to try to evolve here. We're just going to head to stop the evolutions. Again, this is going to be a basic Pokemon only walkthrough. Can't have any of my Pokemon evolving. So, we're going to stop both of those evolutions. You can have a Cascade badge. I like how Pikachu gives you a high five every time you get a badge. Pokemon level 30 from other trainers will listen to you. We're going to get TM29 Scald from Misty. Use it on a Pokemon that lives in the water. Currently don't have any water type Pokemon right now. I may have one down the road, but right now I do not have one. So that TM was going to go in my bag unused. We're going to set off to the next city. But before we do that, let's heal our Pokemon. Because I'm sure there's going to be trainers along the way. I think we're going to retain the same party going into the next town. Moving on, let's finish exploring the city. We haven't really gone into every building yet. Let's see what this guy has to say. Bike collection is impressive. Having a little bit of a hard time moving around the Joy-Con. All right, getting close to all those rare bikes. It's a shiny, expensive bike. You curious about that bike? Sure. It's a limited edition bike, popular a while ago. A million Poké Dollars. Well, too bad you can't even get a million Poké Dollars in the game. Nothing happens when you click on, or try to click on the other bikes. We'll go ahead and move on to the next building. It's gonna be in here. Not quite sure what I'm gonna find in here, but let's find out. Looks like a hiker. Ooh, my dearest Clefairy. Mess around this bird and it really got fluffy and cool. <laughs> got a Clefairy in the middle of the room there. Cute little puffball. What's she have to say? Oh, we should listen to my orders. I'm sure that's a traded Pokemon that she got and does not have the right amount of badges for her it to listen to her. I know another trainer down earlier in the game said that there's new items in the Pokemart after you beat the gym. So we're gonna go ahead and test that theory here. See if there's anything new. We're gonna restock on a couple things that we used. I used the antidote last time. So let's go ahead and pick up a few more. Make sure I have enough of at least one of each of these other ones. And I do. Lure, I don't know if I need any of these other things here. Dear, yeah, I don't need any of these other items, I don't think. Um, how many Pokeballs? I have 22 Great Balls. Quite a bit of Pokeballs in the bag. Let's go ahead and get some more Super Potions for the just in case I need to use them. 
And I think that's going to be it for the Pokemart. See what these kids have to say. Yes, yeah, so they're also saying there's new items in the Mart after you beat the gym leader. We checked and there's, I, don't, I didn't really notice anything that, else that you could buy. I don't know if you, I don't remember if you could buy Great Balls before, but you can now. Let's start heading to Vermilion City. I don't see anything else that we really need to do in this city. I think we had now visited all of the buildings, talked to all the people. I'm glad we did because my Pikachu now knows Zippy's up. Clearly it's best move. Squirtle's running away. How can you do such a thing? I need to keep an eye on the house. Get back here. Well, we're going to sneak into the house and go to the next city. Since we don't have cut just yet. Oh, looks like someone stomped through here. I wonder what made all those footprints. Nice little big hole in the wall there. Dang. That's going to be expensive to fix. See what they have to say. They stole my TM. I can teach Pokemon like Mankey and Sandshrew dig. Team Rocket must be trying to dig their way somewhere. Okay. Let's see if we can get the TM back from Team Rocket. I think there's a Team Rocket guy right here. Give back the TM. I'm an innocent bystander. Don't you believe me? Not when you're wearing a Team Rocket uniform. Team Rocket Grunt, one Pokemon. It's going to send out a Raticade. It's going to be weak to fighting. It's going to use a double kick. It's only level 15. Double kick should do it. I'd be surprised if it didn't. It's going to be just enough. Raticate is down, and that's going to be Team Rocket Grunt. Super effective. 216 experience. And Sparks is going to grow to level 19. Beat Team Rocket Grunt. I'll give it up quietly. 420 Poké Dollars for that battle. Okay, I'll return the TM I stole. Recovered TM10 Dig. Better get moving. Bye. Typical. Caught red-handed. And he decided to bolt. Retrieve the TM. You can keep it, though. I decided to keep my time training. Diglet. Do it the hard way. Well, I tried to return the TM, but he didn't want it. So let's continue on, on our path to Vermilion City. Nope, oh, can't go that way. We go down here. Here we go. So we're past that tree now. The needs cut. That is a Jigglypuff. We don't have Jigglypuff just yet. Let's go ahead and try to capture it. I was worried that if we left the route there that it would despawn, but it's right here. Jigglypuff's level 13. Use a Raspberry. I don't know, though, that if we catch this, that I would actually add it to our party. I still think we have a pretty solid party with what we have. But we're going to catch it because we don't have one. It's a great throw. One roll, two roll, three roll. We're going to catch it on the first try, guys. Caught the Jigglypuff. 105 experience. Added to the Pokedex. Cute round eyes to enrapture its foe. Sing pleasant melody that lulls its enemy to sleep. All right, like again, we have five Pokemon in our party now. We're limiting ourselves to four. So let's go ahead and remove Jigglypuff from our party. 
continue on with the same party that we've been having. I don't think we need another Jigglypuff. We're not going to try to chain those. I don't need another Rattata. We're going to see what this item is. It's going to be three Great Balls. Those are items that are good to have. I like how I tried to Jimmy buy the Rattata and it went in. I think we're just going to run away from this Rattata. We don't need a level 16 Rattata. I think if I caught it, I would just trade it away for an Alolan one again anyway. wonder what this building is here. This is like a daycare, and it is. I, let's see if we can drop off. Can we drop off one from our Pokemon box? No, so it's going to have to be in our party. We can go ahead and drop off Pokemon some other time. We don't have to do it right this second. Now we know where it is. So if you, if guys, if you want me to put in a Pokemon in the daycare, comment below which one you want me to put in there, and I'll go ahead and return back to here and put it in the daycare. Found an ether. Might be helpful. A little bit down the road. Right now, not so much. There's another item. Three Nana Berries. And that is gonna be a rival Chris. Hey, M. Koash. Seems like we can't pass through the gate there. I wonder why. But the underground pass should take us to Vermilion City. It's a bit dark and a little bit scary. Huh? Hold still for one second. What is he doing? He's getting close. Hey, get away from me. You're getting so close to me. Wondering what that sparkly thing was stuck to your face. Oh, Revive was not stuck to my face. Can heal Pokemon that have been knocked out in battle. I have a few extras. So here, take some of mine too. Two more revives from Chris. That's very nice of him. Maybe those will help you in the next gym. Are those SS tickets? Yeah, we have two, so go ahead and take one. You can also go on the SS. All right. You got from the talking Pokemon? Well, if it was a person after all. Well, I guess that's good to hear. Just forgot about the whole thing, okay? I think I'll press ahead. See you there. Continue on underground path. See what this guy has to say. Pokemon's on my shoulder. Let me know with its tail if there's an item on the ground nearby. Well, I wonder if we can probably try that out. An underground path. I'm sure there's items that need to be picked up oh there's an item right there I thought I saw Pikachu's tail wagon though so we'll keep an eye on that while we're going down the path okay so it looks like Pikachu's tail is wagon but I don't find any items I'm clicking the button here I don't see any Pikachu's tail stopped wagons. So we're gonna go up here, see if we can find that item. It's maybe it's just my imagination. No, it's definitely wagon. I don't. It's not anymore going this other way though. So maybe it's just the animation of Pikachu being on my shoulder. But see, that looks like a wag to me. But I'm not picking up any items. I don't know if this is gonna be worth the time to try to use this if I've never done it before so we may just move on without it I can't seem to find the item tail is definitely wagon but I I don't mean to talk to you Bulbasaur look around trying to call out to it it's a little it's worried Oh, to make it feel better. Yeah, it's a little relieved. Okay. Still trying to find this item. I don't think we're going to sit here and try to find any additional items. We'll just pick up the ones in the Pokeball and then come back later once I figure out what is going on here. Picked up a lure and moving on. That's the underground path. What she has to say. 
Lighting's not great in the underground path. People drop a lot of things down there out here. Well, we only found a couple things, but I'm sure once I figure out this whole tail thing, that I might be able to go back and find more. Got some trainers here. <laughs> What's that? Quit listening on us. Wasn't eavesdropping. I wasn't really standing there all that long. Challenged by Camper Ricky. Sending out a Sandrew. Not the greatest matchup for Pikachu. Can't really use his new move. So we're going to go ahead and switch out to Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur is going to be a little bit better equipped to handle the Sandrew. Because pretty much all of its moves are super effective. It's going to use Scratch on us. It's not going to do very much damage here. We're just going to use Vine Whip. I don't think I need to set up Leech Seed on the Sandrew. That didn't do as much as I thought it would do though. Sand attack's pretty annoying. Could make our stuff miss in the future. I'm gonna go ahead and just bind with this one. One more should do it. Hopefully that still using sand attack. I may miss the next one. Let's find out here. Vine whip a third time. Hit vine whip again. And Sandru is down. He's gonna have one more Pokemon. 187 experience. Spepson and Nidoran. I think we're just going to keep Bulbasaur out. So with Nidoran though, I might need to set up Leech Seed. So let's go ahead and do that. Avoided the attack. It's pretty annoying. I don't think I'm going to get poisoned. Wasn't very much damage. Let's go try to put, put the seed up again. Missed again. That's the work of the sand attack. So it looks like we're going to get Leech Seed up here. It's going to use Poison Sting. It's not going to be very effective. Bulbasaur is part Poison. Going to get some health back here from the Leech Seed. We're going to go ahead and Vine Whip here. Avoided the attack. And Sand Attack is money sometimes couple sand attacks in a row and I missed quite a few attacks afterward because of it. Let's go ahead and continue the vine whip here. Between chipping away between the vine whip and the leech seed. We should win this battle. It's just going to take a little bit of grinding. Going to get some more health back from the leech seed. Let's try to get a status condition here, maybe speed up the process. New sleep powder. Put the need around to sleep. It'll help me gain HP back as well from Leech Seed every turn. And I won't be taking any damage because Need Ran will be asleep. Gain some more health back from to Bulbasaur. Go ahead and bind whip. Should be able to spam Vine Whips here. Hopefully I can do that before Nidoran wakes up again. Gain some more health back to Bulbasaur. While zapping life from the Nidoran. One more Vine Whip should do it. Avoided the attack while it was asleep. Woke up and is going to use Horn Attack. Should be able to gain it back from the Leech Seed. And hopefully I can hit this next. Oh, I don't need to hit the next Vine Whip. The Leech Seed will take down the Nidoran. Got 98 experience points. Beat Camper Ricky, 200 Poke Dollars, and two Great Balls. All right, we got one more trainer right here. That's a Ratatata. Don't necessarily need that. I'm going to move on to the next trainer. Pignicker Nancy. Pignicker Nancy is going to have two Pokemon. First one's going to be Nidoran. I'm going to send out Pikachu. Nidoran's level 15. Pikachu's just going to use Zippy Zap. See how much damage that's going to do to a Nidoran. Almost quite got there. Not quite in one shot. 
Poison Sting, it's gonna poison Pikachu. Of course, the first Poison Sting is gonna do that. Let's go ahead and Zippy Zap one more time. Nidoran's gonna be down, we'll probably switch out so Sparks isn't gonna keep taking poison damage. Depending on what she's gonna send out next. Pidgey grew to level 17. Wants to learn Roost. Yeah, let's see what we got to get Roost. I don't really use Sand Attack, even though it's a pretty good attack, I just don't use it. And I see myself using Roost more. Hurt by the poison. Gonna have Jigglypuff. All right, so Nidoran is probably gonna be it. Because Nidoran also knows a fighting move. Hmm. You send out Jigglypuff. I'd rather not take poison damage to the Pikachu. Jigglypuff's gonna be level 15. Nidoran's gonna use Double Kick. Didn't do as much as I would hope. It's gonna use Double Slap. Did a decent amount of damage. Hmm. Let's try out Horn Attacks here. See how much that's gonna do. I feel like that did just about the same amount of damage, maybe a little bit more. It's going to use Horn Attack one more time. Oh, it didn't quite get there. Going to use Defense Curl. I think it's a little late for Defense Curl now, unless it's trainer decided to use a potion. But she didn't. Jigglypuff is down. 96 experience points. And Nidoran's going to grow to level 17. That means we're going to have to stop the evolution for both Nidoran and Bulbasaur again. Bulbasaur wants to learn Takedown. I think we're just going to keep our old moves. I'm good with the move set that we have so far. Yeah, see, it's Sleep Powder, Poison Powder. Yep, Bind Whip. Yeah, I think we're just going to keep our old moves. Don't really need Takedown. If I still have Tackle, I'll replace Tackle with takedown but we don't we're gonna go ahead and stop these evolutions here again it's a limited basic run for pokemon and only using basic pokemon so we're going to keep these two to their basic level and continue on that is a growlith we're going to go ahead and catch growlith right off the bat i'm probably i might use growlith on the walkthrough i get it's, a little bit of a low level here. But Growlithe is a good Pokemon to get here. Oh, it jumped up over the Pokeball as I was throwing it. Got a nice throw. One roll, two roll, three roll. Caught the Growlithe on the first try. Have to see if we can swap it out with another Pokemon in our party. Growl is going to be added to the Pokedex. Friendly nature. However, will bark fiercely at anything invading its territory. This is a fire type Pokemon. Add to our party, but now we have five Pokemon in our party and we're going to have to address that. So let's go ahead and look at our party. Pidgey, Nidoran, Bulbasaur. We're obviously keeping Pikachu. I really want to keep Bulbasaur. So it's going to be between Pidgey and Nidoran. Which one I replace for Growlithe. I don't think we use Nidoran a bunch. It might be Nidoran. Hmm. Yeah, let's just go ahead and remove Nidoran. We have Growlithe now in our party. We'll go ahead and train Growlithe up. Continue on in the route. This is a Psyduck. I don't know if I have Psyduck yet either. It's level 11. Let's go ahead and just catch Psyduck here. <clears throat> Give it a raspberry. Make it a little bit easier to catch. And go ahead and throw it. We've got a great throw. One roll, two rolls, three rolls, and didn't quite catch the Psyduck. Try to throw another Pokeball at it. And it ran away, wow. 
After the first Pokeball, it ran away. That is not very good luck, but we already have Jigglypuff. But I'm running, I was trying to go around this trainer to get the item, but I accidentally ran into the Jigglypuff. We're just going to run so we can pick up this item just behind this trainer. It was a guard special. All right, so let's take a look, see what we got here. Pikachu's still poison, so we need to fix that before we battle any more trainers. We use Antidote on Sparks. Has decent health, so we're gonna go ahead and just move along with the health that it has. We've got a gentleman coming up here, wants to battle us. Gentleman Edward has one Pokemon. And it's gonna be Eevee, which is gonna be a good matchup for us. Pikachu still knows a fighting type move. Fighting type moves are super effective against normal Pokemon. We're gonna use Double Kick. It's only level 16. Sparks is level 19. We should be in good shape here. And we are. Eevee is down just like that. Gentleman is also down. 103 experience points. Beat Gentleman Edward. Got a bunch of money there for that one. And moving on in the round. It's going to be, what, a sailor coming up. I didn't see any new Pokemon that we needed. Go ahead and initiate the battle with the sailor. Sailor Elijah sent out Tentacool. Again, another good matchup for us. We're just probably going to use Zippy Zap on the Tentacool. It's only level 16. We have a level advantage. Ours is going to go first, and we're going to get a critical hit. That's going to be enough to bring the Tentacool down, and that's going to be the battle, guys. 107 experience points and beat Sailor Elijah. 960 Poke Dollars and three Pokeballs. All right, what? Jigglypuff again. Ooh, almost ran into that. We're not missing anything. We have two more trainers coming up and then we're to Vermilion City. We're almost to the end of this episode. Sorry, it's running a little bit longer than usual, but we're, let's, we're gonna get to Vermilion City and then we'll cut it off there till the next episode. She's gonna send out a Charmander. We don't have any kind of water type Pokemon or moves. So we're just gonna head use Zippy Zap on the Charmander. That's gonna be enough to bring the Charmander down one shot. Sparks is gonna to grow to level 20. Grow into 369 CP. Beat Picknicker Isabel, 300 Poke Dollars and two Great Balls for that battle. We got one more battle coming up. I'm surprised it didn't initiate automatically. Should have been within view of this trainer. Camper Jeff. Camper Jeff's gonna send out Bellsprout. This is gonna be his only Pokemon. We're gonna send out Pikachu again. I don't know if I'm gonna bother switching out for this one. Yeah, let's, Pidgey's gonna be able to take it out a little quicker than Pikachu. Pichu's electrical moves aren't gonna be very effective. It's only level 15 and Pidgey's level 17. We're gonna get hit with the wrap here, but then we're gonna use wing attack for the bell sprout. Shouldn't be a very long battle after that used wing attack not quite one shot it's going to use growth that's going to raise a special attack and attack but it's not going to do much for the defense one more wing attack should do it and bell sprout will be down yep we connected with that wing attack bell sprout fainted that is going to be the battle 89 experience points and beat Camper Jeff. 300 Poke Dollars for winning and two more Great Balls. We're doing pretty good on our inventory here. 
We made it to Vermilion City. All right, guys, it's going to be the end of the episode here. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe for more content like this one. In the next episode, we're going to start off exploring Vermilion City. We're going to explore Diglett's Cave and maybe see if we can get to the gym. All right, thanks guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.